Hey, hey, Andrew Twelve Tree here, coming to you for the first time in about a week. Um, what I'm going to talk to you today about is several things: procrastination, uh, consistency, and how to break out of one and into the other. Um, it's been it's been a bit of an interesting week for me. Uh, off uh, off stop smoking after. Uh, too long, 20 years of smoking or more maybe, um, which was tough and I needed to do it um, but what it's caused is a bout of procrastination because coming into it uh, I was doing videos every day and posting on Facebook and my team was exploding, um, <clears throat> then had a, a bit of a bit of a scare and I, I gave up smoking and and um, <clears throat> making videos and posting on Facebook was the least of my concern at the time. I was just fighting the urge to go down to the shop and buy, buy some smokes. So um, that's done out of the way, often, yay. Um, but for the last two or three days, um, it's like, right, well, where, where do I start? <laughs> you know, I know what to do. I'm just procrastinating, you know. Um, Yesterday, I I, uh, I came up to a, a spot, you know, because I actually come up um, and record my videos on the top of a, well, I call it a mountain. It's a very big hill, but it's an island. But if you look around here, look out behind me. See over there, there's an ocean view, and that's Cebu Island over there. And if you look around here, okay, you can see the end of Cebu Island and the, and the, the gap in between, and then Negros Island, where I live. And if we come around here, we can see it all the way around until we get to the to the trees, which I'm standing under. So basically, through the trees, there's there's more, and then around the other side, obviously, there's more um, more views. So it's a pretty nice spot. Um, no one's around, although I can hear a farmer chopping something just over the back here. So I wouldn't be surprised if he snuck up for a look in a minute. But um, how to break out of procrastination? It's it's a matter of actually forcing yourself sorry you can see my bike in the background I rode up here uh, actually forcing yourself to do something all right because the only reason we procrastinate is fear of what people will think fear of failure fear of success some perceived roadblock in your mind that if you if you believe it you won't do anything you'll you'll find yourself um scrolling you know from north to south in google maps just to see that the whole country exists or some stupid thing rather than doing a post on facebook or recording a video teaching someone what to do um, which is going to be more valuable for you and and putting another clone of yourself out there on the internet so that uh, you know if you get enough clones enough content out there people will find you and if what you create is something of value, then they'll follow you. Okay? It's, it's not hard. It's just a matter of doing it. And doing enough of it so that people find you, follow you, and join the programs that you're in after you've obviously had a conversation. I mean, I've done a lot of training videos on how to recruit and the best closing lines and all that. And, and it all comes from talking to people. Now, obviously, if you don't talk to people, then nothing's going to happen. But... Uh, Creating content is a great way for them to get to know you without having to go through that whole process. They can watch your videos, and when you actually do talk to them, they feel like they already know you because I've seen you in countless videos. That's why video marketing is so powerful. So um, what we were talking about is procrastination and consistency. If you can force your, literally force yourself to go up and make a video which is what I'm doing this one, to break out of my um, procrastination circle. And then, obviously, set yourself some daily tasks. Now, quite often, I, I like to come up to a place like this and record a dozen videos and, and eke them out one a day. So I don't have to come out of my uh, lounge room or office to actually do them. So I've got a whole list of videos that I can post daily. Um, and in between, I may well have the thought of doing a live video that, that I just do and then I just push the recorded ones back a day so I've always got something to do and uh, obviously as your 
posting your content, engage with those who engage with your content. So the likes, the comments, and you talk with those people. They're obviously connecting with you and, and engaging for a reason. So, and uh, consistency, guys. If you can go out there and post three, four times a day, one of those preferably being a video, uh, motivational, inspirational, something of value to your target audience, um, do that on a consistent basis and you will not only get more edge rank in Facebook and YouTube, um, that you'll, you'll get more people, more eyeballs on your content, will uh, we'll obviously build some momentum. And the more momentum you build, the bigger you're following. And as you get a following, those people engage with your videos, engage with your posts, which will then give you more reach. Okay, so if you can consistently create content, your reach will get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so will your following and obviously your team, if you're building a program, okay? So, basically, in essence, force yourself to take action by taking action, you'll feel better in yourself. You'll start to get some results. I mean, you might not get, you know, 15 people sign up out of one video if you've never done one before, but it's a start, okay? You just need to be consistent and your following will grow, okay? So uh, that's it for now. I think I've broken the back of my procrastination. Um, all I do is implore you to do the same and uh, go out there and kick some goals, guys. So uh, feel free to share this with anyone who needs it, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So for now, Andrew out. Bye-bye.